this After Effects tutorial, I'll show you some noise tricks that improve your animations instantly. Noise is mainly used, at least by me, in compositing and to create textures. Hey everyone, my name is Manuel and let's dive right in. If you use gradients and render out compressed movies, they might look like this. Not great, right? Adding an adjustment layer and the noise effect on top helps a lot to get rid of this color bending. Between 3 and 7% should be enough. No color noise. Let's say you have a text layer on graphic background. It looks very clean and sterile. Noise already on top to improve the gradient result. Then let's add some overall light to bring the two layers together. We add a new solid, color a very bright yellow. Name it light. Then use the ellipse tool to add a round mask somewhere around the bright text area. Then add a mask feather to really soften the edge. Maybe reduce the opacity a little bit. Then add noise again. Again, no color noise, this time a lot, like around 30 to 40%. Let's reduce the opacity some more. It's still a bit too much, but let's leave it like that for now. Another thing you can do is add a very subtle animated overlay. We add another layer, color doesn't matter. Name it Light Overlay and add turbulent noise this time. Let's keep these settings up here, scale it up to around 500, complexity 1. Let's quickly animate the evolution with an expression. Time asterisk 50. We created an animated grayscale gradient. We set the blending mode of the layer to Overlay. And this adds some very subtle animated light to the scene. And it makes it feel more organic and lets it breathe. Find courses and a lot more resources on my website. Learn how to develop motion design strategies for brands. Create unique, smooth and organic animations. Or learn how to animate with expressions and after effects. Sign up to my newsletter, get your free expression sheet, your free motion design strategy sheet, or download more than 150 After Effects project files. The link is in the description. It is still too clean for my taste, so let's add some unique noise on top. We add a new solid, name it noise. Color doesn't matter because we add turbulent noise again. Let's increase the contrast to around 240. In transform, let's scale it down to five, Increase the complexity for more detail. Reduce the amount of black pixels with the contrast and brightness settings. Then, let's set the blending mode of the layer to multiply. Now there is some visible texture on top. Let's increase the amount, but reduce the size some more. To three. And animate the evolution with an expression again. Time, asterisk, 500. And this is the animated noise. Finally, let's reduce the opacity quite a bit because it's way too dominant. And you should try out different blending modes, like soft light. There's actually a third task I use noise for, to create Luma track mats. Let's add another solid, name it Luma track mat and add fractal noise this time. It is basically the same effect as turbulent noise. The difference, you can create loops with fractal noise if you use the cycle evolution option. Let's increase the contrast to around 170. In transform, we deselect uniform scaling and set the scale width to around 150. The scale height to around 2000. Complexity 1 and we animate the evolution with the same expression. Time, asterisk, 50. And this is the animated Luma track mat. We duplicate the text layer, select the bottom one and use the Luma track mat layer as Luma track mat. Make sure the Luma symbol is visible. Then we add Gaussian blur to the text layer. Set the blurriness to around 100. Then duplicate the effect two times to make the blurred areas more visible. Finally, we add roughen edges. Decrease the border, set the scale to around 10 that sets the particle size. Complexity, 10. And we created animated bleeds. And the once very clean and sterile scene looks much more organic now. Here's a quick tip. Let's say you have got this moving particle with a tail, which I created with the echo effect. And you want to add noise to just the transparent tail. Use the noise alpha effect. Let's add the effect, set the amount to around 20 maybe, set the original alpha to edges, Overflow, let's choose Clip or one of the other options. And the tail has a noise texture. 
Let's use noise to change the style of a video clip. This typewriter scene is very retro, but the footage is way too crisp and good quality. Let's make it look like it was shot more than like 20 years ago. First of all, let's add noise HLS. This effect is great because you can individually control different aspects of the noise. Based on the noise pattern, you can change the hue values of the picture. Let's set the hue to around 11% and the lightness values. Let's set it to around 10 to 12% as well. And the saturation to around 60. There's a lot of noise now. I mean, it was shot 20 years ago. Then let's change the noise pattern to grain. Leave the grain size at one and animate the noise phase with the same expression again. Time, asterisk, 5000 this time to really make it move. Then. Let's add hue saturation and slightly decrease the overall saturation to around minus 20. Next, we add exposure and overexpose it. 1,7 maybe. Let's make it flicker and animate the property with a different expression this time. Random and in parentheses 0.8,1.7. So the exposure flickers between 0.8 and 1.7 each frame. You can see it in the bright parts of the picture. Then let's slightly move the picture to make it look like it is played from a projector. We open the position property, separate the dimensions and add an expression to the Y position property. Random and 535 comma 545 in parentheses. The video moves max 5 pixels up and down each frame. Let's scale it slightly up to fill the whole screen again. You can add more texture to it by adding another layer with a turbulent noise effect again. Set the scale width to around 10, the scale height to around 1600. To create vertical lines, let's reduce the amount, animate the evolution with the time expression. Time asterisk 1000 and we set the blending mode of the layer to multiply that looks like some nice scratches you can reduce the opacity of course and like this you can change the look of graphics and videos by using different noise effects in combination with other effects on the left side i've added a video you might like thanks for watching this one see you in the next one bye everyone